Jesus Christ. In several of his letters, Paul begins with Paul the Apostle. A title prefaces his language. But because the church in Philippi is his favorite church, he drops the title. And he writes serving. Paul knew that testimonies were greater than titles. Pharaoh had a title. But Moses had a testimony. Hallelujah. Elijah had a testimony. Well, Ahab, the king of the northern kingdom, had a title. Mary Magdalene only had a testimony. But Herodias had a title. God is not interested in our titles. I know we get them and I know we want them, but God's not interested in our titles. I've been preaching long enough to know that titles don't preach. I have a master of sacred theology, but degrees don't preach. Hallelujah! You can put them on a wall, they'll get yellow. But God will take somebody yes. who is sold out for him. Yes. Somebody who has no recognition, no education, no refinement, no polish, and establish that person. Making them a great voice for God. I was reflecting about my own father. My father was not the most articulate man in the world. In fact, Elder Hines said he didn't have words, he had a way. But when my father would get finished stammering through his sermon and made that altar call, that stammering sermon had folk getting up from the pews crying out, what must I do to be saved? Hallelujah. God don't care about your title. Come on, look at somebody and say, God don't care, care about your title. You better have a testimony. You better know how to get in touch with God. Am I talking to the right church here today? You need, you, need to, you need to get yourself in a position where you can hear from God. So you can speak to God's people with power and with voice. So Paul says, Paul and Timothy servants of Jesus Christ to all the saints in Christ Jesus at Philippi. Paul says your permanent address is in Christ Jesus. Your very zip code is in Philippi, mm -hmm. Corinth, Thessalonica, mm -hmm. Rome, mm -hmm. or wherever it may be. Old Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Coatesville, Harrisburg, York, Lancaster, that is your varying zip code. Mm -hmm. Paul found, out, found that out in Acts chapter 16 while on his second missionary journey with Timothy and Silas. The Bible says Paul came to Asia Minor and the Spirit of God said no. Mm -hmm. Instead of the Great Commission, Paul receives the Great Prohibition. Could have established a church there. He could have strengthened the disciples there. He could have ordained elders there. But the Spirit said no. That 17th verse, Paul decides he wants to go to Bithynia. And instead of giving him the great commission to go into all the world to preach the gospel to every creature, the Spirit of God gives him the great prohibition once again, saying, say no. No. His zip code kept changing. And Paul winds up in Troas. How in the world do you handle Troas when you wanted to go to Asia Minor in Bithynia? Troas is just a little place on the other side of the road. Troas is that place that doesn't even have a drugstore in it. You're out in the boondocks, nobody, nowhere to find the main highway. Nobody's gonna know you in that place. But if you're going to get to Philippi, and hear the Macedonian man say, come over here and help us, you have to spend some time at Troas. You have to go to the backside of the desert to hear God speak. 
feet from a burning bush. You have to be called away from the gloomy revival in Samaria to go to the Gaza Strip where there's only one black man who's come forward from the Pentecostal revival. He wants to start a church when he gets back to Ethiopia. Some of us want Philippi, but we don't want to spend any time in Troas. If you are too big for Troas, God can't use you in Philippi. It tickles me all of our brothers 